people used to spend a lot more money on their total look and they would invest a lot into the clothing and then the shoes and the bag were like a second thought right but these days a lot of young people are coming into bird off goodman and they're wearing just cheap clothes from zara and they're spending all their money on one designer bag so our priorities have kind of changed might not it might change again guys like you know we, we say bags are investments and they go up in value and they'll always be desirable but I think the whole idea that we need to invest a lot into accessories is more of a modern day idea and it's something that could change again. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I wanted to talk about today reasons why you might not find buying designer handbags suitable for you. I mean, there's many reasons why you shouldn't buy a designer handbag. A lot of us want to live that fantasy life and buy designer bags and be bougie, myself included, but it's not always the ideal thing to do. So today I wanted to go through reasons why maybe you shouldn't collect designer bags, you know, things could really go wrong, you might have a few regrets. First reason is it really depends on where you live, guys, because I live in Melbourne, I'm very lucky to live in a city where it's generally pretty cold and it's not a place that gets mould very easily and it doesn't get overly humid. I find that in terms of keeping your bags, if you live in a really hot climate, it can be quite challenging to look after your bags. So if you live in somewhere, yeah, like in a more tropical climate, you have to pay for running the uh, like the air conditioner on all the time to cool down the bags because it can be a case that your bags get really dehydrated or develop mold because of the excess humidity in the air and it can be really hard to maintain your bag if you live in really harsh climates and it just might mean that you really just cannot own designer bags like i know if i move to a more tropical climate permanently i would probably have to sell most of my designer bags because they just would not last up there i was recently watching a uh, cat l's video she lives in singapore um and one of her chanel bags uh the patent leather completely discolored because of where she lives and although she's able to maintain her other bags things like patent leather are things that you can't necessarily buy if you live in a humid climate so just be wary of certain materials and how they age because it might not be how you're wearing your bag it can be really just about how you're storing it just not being aware of storing your bags properly honestly you might think you're doing all the right things but sometimes the room that you're keeping your bags in is just not ideal for storage and you're gonna be a little bit sad if your bag really fastly deteriorates just on your shelf because it can happen i don't want to jinx myself here either but it, it everybody is at risk of getting robbed and we've seen that happen on social media you know i know i remember a few years ago tamara kalanick got robbed she lost her whole collection if it's something that you're really worried about i would honestly say it's it's considering it's it is it is stressful honestly thinking about having all your bags stolen it is something that some people would find uh plays on their mind a little bit so if you're one of those people i would think twice about having a massive collection because it, it is devastating if you were to lose it all i know i would be really upset but yeah i mean you'll obviously be able to move on with life but yeah i mean that when i think about that it honestly stops me from buying a bag when i think about oh my gosh what if all my bags got stolen but yeah so if you ever want reason not to buy a bag just think about like you know maybe be happy for the bags you have and enjoy them uh now because you know nothing lasts forever and things can get ruined easily you can have someone just pour wine on your bag like anything can happen to your bag so if you're a little bit scared about that yeah maybe think twice before buying a lot of bags at once because I know I'm a little bit scared about that sometimes and whenever I think about bad things happening to my bags it definitely stops me from purchasing more. You are buying bags for the good quality. I, I, it's safe to say guys that all designer handbags are very overpriced. I think we've definitely figured that out by now by watching Tanner Leatherstein or Steen and 
um, just by our own experience. Like a lot of brands have declined in quality over the last few years, you know, the prices are going up. We are really just paying for, you know, their marketing and the designer brand at this point. And if you're somebody who wants to buy bags that are extremely well made and great quality, honestly, sometimes buying designer brands may disappoint you. And I'm just here to say that just because something is $10,000 doesn't always necessarily mean it's better quality as something that costs a lot less. There are a lot of like um, lesser known brands that are more affordable. The brand is not as strong, but the quality is there. And if you're somebody who cares about very well made good quality bags unfortunately a lot of the top designer brands are not no longer producing that and they're also no longer producing bags that are that different or inspiring from things from the past um I, the main motivation now is for brands is to churn out as many collections as possible and almost to overproduce bags and so the exclusivity slowly over time is getting lost as well because we're simply bombarded with too much fashion and so Buying a designer bag can sometimes feel, honestly, someone will spend even like, you know, $20,000 on a Birkin and you might buy it and feel really underwhelmed because not necessarily because the value, the quality of a Birkin is bad, but because it just doesn't seem like it should be $20,000, right? At the end of the day, it's just a bag and you are paying for a designer label and that might not be worth it to you. I mean, it's kind of worth it to me. I I enjoy that little bit of a kick, but you might it not might not be worth it to you. So that might be a reason not to buy a designer bag. Also, the well, the the current day pricing is a little bit ridiculous. It is hard to stomach that, you know, shoes and bags have gone up significantly over the past 10 years. They've doubled, tripled in price, uh, some bags, and it's just insane. You know, uh, back, I feel like in the 70s and 80s, people didn't really invest that much into their shoes and bags as they do now. I mean, I was watching super take it this morning and she was talking about a lady called betty who worked at bird off goodman for 45 years and she said that people used to spend a lot more money on their total look and they would invest a lot into the clothing and then the shoes and the bag were like a second thought right but these days a lot of young people are coming into bird off goodman and they're wearing just cheap clothes from Zara and they're spending all their money on one designer bag. So our priorities have kind of changed. Might not, it might change again, guys. Like, you know, we, we say bags are investments and they go up in value and they'll always be desirable. But I think the whole idea that we need to invest a lot into accessories is more of a modern day idea. And it's something that could change again. There might be a time where younger people start investing more money into outerwear and more money into uh, clothing as opposed to one handbag or one pair of shoes. And if you're someone who is really into fashion, you might just not find it worth it to buy, spend all your money on one designer handbag and buy cheaper fashion. Um, to look stylish, you honestly, putting on one designer bag doesn't always make you look really well put together. It's more about having an eye and putting an outfit together. And sometimes yeah, you might just find that buying that one designer bag does not do it for your style. It can be addictive collecting designer bags, but it wasn't always the way it was. You know, I think people used to collect more jewelry and like um, art and things like that. Whereas now these days people are collecting handbags, which wasn't always the case. So you might not find it worth it to collect a handbag. And it's, it's really crazy the way that handbags have exploded in price compared to what they used to be. And they never used to be put on this kind of pedestal that they are now. And I don't know if accessorizing on shoes and accessories will always be um, this focused on, you know, in another 30, 40 years, things may change again for us. So I wouldn't even say handbags are an investment. They could be at a peak right now, to be honest. Handbags definitely could be at a peak. So uh, yeah, I don't know if it's always the right decision to build a massive designer collection, designer handbag collection, especially in this day and age where I've noticed the pre-love market is um, going down in price as well. Like it's harder to sell on your bags. And, yeah, times are changing. So I, I wouldn't say it's 
the best decision to um, put all your money towards designer handbags. It's not really an investment and it's not necessarily um, the most fashion forward thing to do, I think, at this point. So anyway, um, that's just some reasons, but let me know. Um, do you kind of regret building your designer handbag collection? I love it. I mean, obviously, I hope I can keep these bags and uh, wear them and enjoy them. Uh, do I still want to add more handbags to my collection i mean i think about buying a bag every day but i think uh that's just about me having a bit of an addictive personality and wanting to buy more but um I, when i start thinking about long term and how much money we spend on these bags it really does make me second uh guess whether i should buy another bag sometimes and although i'm not saying i'm gonna stop buying bags i, I do think that um, you should go into it with an open mind and, and really consider. It's, it's really fun and exciting to collect designer bags, but there's a lot of reasons why maybe it's it might also be disappointing for you. It might actually not fulfill that much in your life. So, yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!